Hello, this is Brownie from the Create Labs. Um, we are going to do another JavaScript tutorial today. Uh, this time we're going to be focusing on uh, for loops. And uh, it's a neat little exercise here. Um, the question is if I was to start, if you were to work for me for a month, and I was to pay you for the first day of work a dollar for your first day of work and each day after that double your earnings from the day before would you work for the 30 days <laughs> now when I was originally asked this I forget hell no um, but I think you'll find that I was wrong and most people would um, so let's get down to it here uh, this is pretty neat little thing here yeah. So we start off by opening up our JavaScript tags. Um, script type equals text JavaScript. And then close the script tag. Um, we are going to create a couple variables. Uh, variable day variable earn for the earnings and we'll start you off with the one dollar variable sum start it off at zero and like I said this is going to be a for loop so we'd type four day e oops equals one um, if day is less than or equal to 30 for 30 days and day plus plus and what that's going to do is increment the days um, one by one each time this full loop runs um, until day is um, greater than or equal to 30. Okay. Um, so we're going to print out to the screen um, by typing document dot write and on day um, and then concatenate day and we're going to adjust the earnings for each day to two times the earnings from the day before this will make a little more sense when you see it print out And what we're doing here is just concatenating um, the string to print out on the screen. And this here um, is, I'll, I'll come back and kind of re explain, but this to fixed um, is basically signing how many decimal points um, we want to let this go. Um, and we want the sum to uh, equal the sum plus the earnings. Oop. Document that right. Total earnings are. And the decimal places again. And up 
break. Okay. So, are you ready for the result? Um, let's just save this and we'll save it under JavaScript. Um, I have a folder JavaScript here. So, as you can see, um, by day 30, the total earnings would have been two billion, one hundred and forty-seven million. Uh, what's that? Four hundred and eighty-three thousand six hundred and forty-six dollars. Um, so I think that's a pretty, <laughs> pretty fair deal. Uh, you know, when I was originally asked that, I I thought, no way. But, um, boy, was I wrong. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind making that in a lifetime. Well, uh, let's go back to the script and kind of explain what's going on here. Um, so, I've established three variables. Day, earn for earnings, and the sum is the total. Um, so, each time this loop passes through, on the first time, it's day one and the earnings start out at one dollar and as you can see here earn equals two times earn so by the time it comes back around it's worth two dollars and so on and so on um, and this is just writing it out to the screen um, on day one earnings are and if we look over here, on day one, earnings are two dollars. Total earnings, and then it's the sum, two dollars. So on on day one, this is the result. On the next pass through the loop, this is the result. Two is times two is four, and you add it to the sum before and you get six um, well I hope I'm making sense to you um, but this is a for loop um, and you know this this might be a little bit confusing uh, it was to me when I first laid eyes on it but you know the more for loops you write the easier they become and um, so I hope this was helpful in some way, uh, shape or form, if not, you know, a little fun uh, experiment. And we'll see you next time. Uh, this is Bernie at the Create Lab. Thank you.